The following is an original production of HCC-TV, Howard Community College Television. At the end of each semester, the Arts and Humanities Division holds an event called An Evening of Student Arts, where student work is celebrated in the realms of radio, TV, and the visual and digital arts. Division Chair Valerie Lash describes how the event has grown over the years. We actually used to have what we called Fine Arts Night, and everything uh, we'd have uh, theatrical scenes and music and dance and, and the art gallery opening. But um, now we have student arts all year. I mean, things are happening all the time. But we've retained this one evening uh, that we do twice a year, one in December and then one in May, where um, the student visual arts are e exhibited. Two pieces are selected by the faculty of each art class and showcased in the student art exhibit. All of the art classes are represented. So that would be um, everything from two-dimensional design, painting, drawing, digital arts, photography, um, graphic design. Uh, we actually will have um, architecture um, uh, shown as well as interior design. So every art class that we are, uh, that we uh, offer on campus has uh, two pieces of work that, that come out of it. The reception held as part of the event is a great opportunity for the audience to peruse the exhibit before awards are given to the top favorites. Yes, for the evening of student arts we have um, generally three awards, uh, sometimes four. And the three awards are the president's favorite piece of art, the Vice President of Academic um, um, Affairs' favorite uh, piece of art, and my award, which is the um, Arts and Humanities Division Chair's favorite work of art. And occasionally, the Director of Visual Arts gives a special award as well. The Evening of Student Arts also includes a TV and radio lounge held in Montebaro Recital Hall. The lounge highlights student work chosen by the faculty of the TV and radio production courses. In addition to this wonderful evening, there are many other events that take place at the end of the semester to celebrate the arts. We have um, the Arts Collective program, and so those are uh, plays, um, improv, uh, cabarets that include students, uh, community members, faculty, staff, uh, guest artists. We have student um, recitals, we have student jazz ensembles, uh, cello ensembles, uh, just all kinds of student work. We also have dance performances, so the arts are alive and well, particularly at this time of year at the end of the semester when um, students get to strut their stuff. Lash believes this is a very important experience for students in the arts. When you're creating something, you're creating it for yourself, of course, but you're creating it for an audience, whether it be a dance or a piece of music that you're playing or writing uh, or a piece of art that you have created. It's important that an audience see it, hear it, feel it, uh, because that is part of the whole experience. And a student having uh, a true artistic experience, is which, which is what we want them to have, uh, needs to have that audience. And it's risky, you know, um, because it could be you put something out there and nobody likes it, you know. So taking that risk, creating a piece of art, having an audience receive it, um, and uh, you as an artist can get that feedback as you're watching the audience, whether it be at your exhibit or at your dance concert, you know, you can feel that. That is all part of the total artistic experience, creating art. An evening of student arts is great fun for everyone. Oftentimes, of course, the students come and their parents often, or their children. Um, I remember years ago, my mom was taking a ceramics uh, class and her work was chosen. Oh, well, my daughter and I came and brought her flowers. And so there's a lot of that that goes on too. It's very much an honor even to be selected to be included in the exhibit. Um, and we try to make it a party. To find out more information about classes offered through the Arts and Humanities Division, 
go to howardcc.edu, click on Academics, and then select Academic Divisions.